In Fiji's mountainous interior, I'm hooked into something powerful. Something's on. Something's on. <clears throat> This be the Totombale. There's something on. I must net this writhing beast quickly and not give it any chance to escape. Is it in the net? No, it's not. Shit. Now it is. Now it is. The monster I've caught is a huge marbled eel. What I'm trying to do is not grip it too tight because if with eels, if you fight them, they fight back. The villagers confirm that this is a totombale. This fish has really given me the run around and uh, finally here I am, middle of the night, covered in slime and I finally have it. Just getting a bit of a look at the, the business end of this. And that is a big mouth. And it's got powerful musculature operating those jaws. And when it opens its mouth, I can see very clearly that it's got lots of teeth, very, very sharp teeth. When they clamp down, uh, that's gonna cause a bit of an injury. This nearly five foot long marbled eel could maul a person. What's more, when eels feed, they sometimes spin, causing circular wounds. Maybe this is where the octopus theory came from. Now that I'm actually seeing a live one of these and handling it, I'm pretty certain that those incidents I've heard about from the interior of the island, this has to be the culprit. I came here looking for a possible perpetrator behind a series of attacks. And I found two, both aquatic predators capable of inflicting serious damage. The marbled eel stalks the remote interior, while the giant trevally comes into the rivers from just offshore. I don't believe that these fish hunt for human flesh, but stumble into either one by accident and this idyllic South Pacific paradise could become the scene of your worst nightmare.